Athanasian Creed, Episode 16. Sed necessarium est ad aeternam salutem, ut incarnati onem quoque, Domini nostri Jesu Christi, fideliter credat. But, the creed continues, it is necessary, it is needful, necessarium est, with a view to eternal salvation, or it is necessary for eternal salvation. The preposition ad, always and only, patterns with the accusative case, thus salutem is the accusative object of ad, modified by aeternam. And so these two words are feminine, singular, and accusative. It is necessary for eternal salvation, and then we have this ut clause, which will tell us what is necessary. That, ut, that someone believe, credat, that the individual believe also in the incarnation, incarnationem, of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the person believe fideliter, faithfully. So credat is a third singular, present subjunctive active, from the third conjugation verb credere, like so, and fideliter is an adverb which is derived from the noun form fides, like so. It is necessary that he believe also in the incarnation. Incarnationem is feminine, singular, and accusative, and quoque, an adverb like fideliter, domini nostri, Jesu Christi, masculine, singular, and genitive. This verb credere in Latin is used in three different and distinct senses. First, credo is used simply with the dative to express trust. So, credo tibi, I trust you, credo plus the dative. Secondly, credo is used with accusative and infinitive in propositional senses, that is, to believe that something is the case. And that's how it's used here. Credat incarnationem, and I would suggest esse, believe that there is an incarnation also, etc. The third way to use credere is how it's used in the creed, the Apostles' Creed, I mean, and that is credo within plus the accusative, which means to place one's trust in someone, and it's distinguished from these two first uses of credere.